I'm Kate. I'm Avon. And I'm Sonia. And today we're, today we're dishing with you from Tandoori Nights, which is located at 2800 North Clarendon Boulevard in Arlington, Virginia. And our guest today is Robert Albrecht. He is, what, in charge? Founder? Founder. What, founder? The founder of United Social Sports, which really we want to hear all about all the sports, but I want to start with what's on your shirt, ski ball, which I personally rocked at when I was about 10. <laughs> but for those people who did not rock it at 10, what is ski ball? Uh, so ski ball is the classic game that was invented uh, in the early 1900s uh, by J.D. Essis in Philadelphia. J.D. Um, ski ball. <laughs> I, I always ask trivia questions during okay. ski ball nights, so it's become ingrained in my mind. But okay. It's a classic arcade game, uh, carnival game, where you roll the uh, 16 ounce or 8 ounce, depending on this, the uh, version ball, up the ramp into okay. the 10, the 20, the 30, the 40, the 50, or possibly the 100 if you're a risk taker, mm -hmm. and uh, top score wins. And cards, little tickets come out of the little machine. Little tickets come out of the machines. <laughs> uh, that is true. And but now the tickets get you something a little bit better than a stuff. Oh, like what? What does United Social Sports give us for the ticket win? Because, like I said, rocking it, I want to know what I win. Well, it's not so much United Social Sports, uh, more as the bar that the oh, machines are okay. in. Yeah. So some of the bars do prizes or redemptions. Some don't. It kind of depends. Mm -hmm. um, Okay. If you want a little tip, the yes. bar that definitely helps you out with a good score is Old Dominion Brew House Ooh. over by the convention center. Okay. Yeah. So okay, so we talked about this being a thing that she was really good at when she was ten. So we've right. gone from it being something that you play when you're little to something you're playing in a bar. Right. For so drinks. we actually like to call it bar ski. So it's ski ball plus a bar, bar ski. Ah. Um, not because of legal reasons at all. We love ski. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, it's all grown up now. So it's about hanging out with friends, about having a good time. Um, and the nice thing about bar ski, ski ball, is that nobody really takes it too seriously. Um, there's a couple superstars out there, but for the most part, people are, are on the same playing field, just having a good time, rolling their balls. Is there any main difference between that and the original game that she loves? So much uh, absolutely. A absolutely. She was probably Besides playing. Besides the moves. Well, then again, she Wait, I play. still like to go to carnivals and play it. This is my favorite oh, carnival saying, game. Because you can master it. I feel like those other ones where it's like shooting the water out of the hose to the thing. Like this, you could actually win. There's no sort of right. trickery. That's right. There's it, no it, trickery it, it absolutely is a game of skill. And there's actually been a couple legal cases about that, but it is a game of skill for those who want to put in the time and you invest five, six, seven dollars, you're going to win that stuffed animal if you uh, can adjust your game and learn learn the learn the rules. So I think the key is that you don't move. Once it starts going in, you got to keep that foot there and you got to just keep going. That's actually pretty right. close, yeah. Consistency <laughs> is very important in skee ball. If you want to be you a serious job, I thought you were playing. I, like, yeah, yeah. I, I had no Dead idea. Serious. We, we love to talk about adult sports leagues here Absolutely. on the district dish yep, because there's a lot of them in DC. And there's so many people that are looking for extracurricular activities and group activities. Absolutely. Skee ball is something that you kind of do by yourself, isn't it? Um, not not with United Social Sports. All you right, could go to the it. bar and you could play by yourself if you'd like. Um, but with United Social Sports, we have a uh, team of anywhere from 8 to 15 people. And we've turned it into somewhat of a bowling type game. So there's multiple frames. Mm -hmm. And so the biggest, uh, and I think the most entertaining part of skee-ball, is getting the horseshoe of your friends around you when you're rolling. You've got your opponent right there next to you. You're battling it out. And they get pretty rowdy. They get into it. And I think that's the draw for a lot of people. They have a good do you time. Have, do you have a tournament that goes along with this as well? We host, so the league actually works much like a kickball or a softball league where you meet once a week and you play your game. Uh, but we have an end of season tournament as well. We have actually this season coming up. We've got a few of them. And uh, they're located at the different bars. And we have an individual tournament as well as a team tournament. And is there a trophy attached to it? Our, <laughs> our oh, trophy? Right, there absolutely is. is. What do you, yeah, you have I to know. know. Yeah. I'm asking. What am I going to win? Yeah, am I going to get chicken nuggets during? Yeah, with the little tickets, or am I going to get a trophy? Yeah. Our trophy is a little bit more grown up than you probably remember. It's not a trinket. Um, it's actually useful. It's an etched glass. It says United Social I, I was going to say booze. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a really cool Pilsner beer glass. Oh, awesome, awesome. We fill up with beer at, right after you win as well. Well, so my question was going to be, what's uh, on that trophy if there was one? What the would it look like? Would it look you like want to know what's on it? You want to know what's in it? No, 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 the symbol, like the symbol of the trophy. Like, what would it like? Ski? What's this? I don't know. It's like the ball. Stanley Cup. It's got a look. You want to know what the look is? We, yeah, we've like gone through a couple different versions. Um, most recently, it's basically a ball with the reef around it that uh, you'll yeah. know from like movie screenings and Sundance. So forget the, the name. The laurel leaf. The laurel leaf. That's correct. I'm on so. this like. <laughs> right. you just know all I need. I need to know all the ski ball so stuff. So people are watching this at home, and they're all wanting to know how they can beat Sonia. But they're watching this, and Don't they're going. Don't try. Is what I'm saying. Come join. They're going. Me how up. do I get to join? And 
and and they know that they should go to United Social Sports website, but particularly yep. for the Ski Ball League. Tell me how we can join because I need to practice and beat the two of them. Well, I need the top <laughs> team versus. Well, if you want to practice, we have happy balls. hours throughout the season and off season where everybody can come out and enjoy free ski ball. Uh, mm -hmm. Typically, it's twenty-five or fifty cents. Um, but to actually join, the great thing about United Social Sports is that you have the ability to join as a free agent with a couple friends or do your own team. So you can get placed on we a team. We can collectively win. We can collectively win. Well, hence, hence the social aspect. So it allows you to right, be Absolutely. And all of our area. sports are like that. Well, what other sports agent. do you have? We have uh, bocce, okay. shuffleboard, also Ooh. the only shuffleboard league in the city. It's all, it's all similar in tossing yeah. things. But there's a ball or a puck yeah. involved in some fort. It some is a sport now. after all. Or oh, that's true. if you're not an athlete, you could be a barley and come and join. What's that? Barley. Oh. So activities inside bars. Uh, I see, no, I see, didn't I work. See. Like darts. Exactly. But <laughs> billiards. All of our Public sports, you can be a free agent um, or join with the team. Okay. So. And what's your high score? My high score is 490. What is the is ultimate that high yeah, score? I don't, I don't, I, that I don't know. A perfect score is 900, Ooh. and that's been done a couple times. There's actually a recorded video um, of it on YouTube. It's pretty phenomenal. Because you get nine balls, exactly. and you get to hit them into the 100, 100. Right. nine if you times. Shoot the, if you shoot the 100 correct, which is very difficult to do. We call them hundo rollers. Yeah, because it prohibits you from, from like chucking it in the air because of the Because it has to go that way. Yeah, exactly. It, ha it has, to, it has to be rolled, right? Yeah, you have to know what you're doing in practice. Oh, without a doubt. And I will say I'm the most un athletic person in the world, so but I perfect. rock at this. So, so I, there's some sort of correlation there, I'm sure. Yeah, I think we agree. So you don't have to have much athletic prowess, but you do have to be social and ski savvy, and you got to want to come and have fun. Ski you got to have balls. You got to, and you got to, you got to have those. I'm totally going to Eight join ounces this. or 16 ounces. <laughs> That's right. If you're interested in playing ski ball with the Ski Ball League, check out UnitedSocialSports.com. They're taking um, group applications right now. That's right. Right, right now. now. So if you want to be a part of it, make sure you go to that site and thank you so much for coming on with thank us. Thank you. We, I think we might have. Uh, I know. I know. We We've got have uh, a shirt for you. Oh, Ooh. a shirt for you. Chicks oh, really? do dig and ski ball. Oh, thank you. Oh, sweet, Those ball. are custom, one of a kind. There's only about 40 of them in the city. So oh, really, cheers. We have, these. Great. we have them. We'll and wear we'll them have on a team. our team. Come compete with us. And thanks as always for watching us here on the District Dish. We'll see you next time.